Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of knives I was fortunately and luckily able to pick up from the latest Blind Horse Knives virtual knife show. I had these two on my top two list and I was fortunate to get them both. There was a few others that I couldn't get, but these two I did. Uh, the first one I want to show you is this top one. It's called a Lumberjack AT. It was a November special in its basic form. And what they did with this one was put on some really incredible scales. They wanted to call them crocodile scales. They're multicolored, obviously, and textured like crocodile skin. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these in this video, but the shape of it's just like you would expect on a crocodile in multiple colors, red and yellows and so on, and they've even put in multiple liners, red, yellow, black, and back to yellow, and just pretty amazing the way they've made this knife up. A little bit on the knife itself. This one also is a little unusual. The standard version is A2 steel. In this particular version they made an O12 steel. It's the same dimensions, I believe. It's nine and a quarter inches overall and has a four and a half inch blade and it's about five thirty seconds thick. Yeah, just an amazing knife that they made and I was just blessed and happy to have been able to get that one and they somebody spent an awful lot of time making this custom sheath for it also a lot of tool work and effort went into that and this second knife is a custom frontier first with the shovel stamps uh, this knife is made out of CPM 154 steel which again is different than the stock version which would be 01 tool steel and of course they added the shovel stamp this is red c -Tech, they call it red c -Tech liners hope you can see those and they're actually glow in the dark and I've shot a picture of those and they light up very brightly actually I was a little surprised how bright they are that's just a just a gorgeous knife again they somebody went to an awful lot of work especially and they even added this false edge on it which is not on the stock knife and actually does make it look very nice and actually would be kind of practical that way it just came in a in a standard sheath I'll go ahead and show you the sheath but just your standard sheath it fits the knife very well. I've tried that already. Uh, there you go. I just wanted to give you a quick video review of these two. I asked for some pictures of them. I have posted some pictures online and I'll try to put this video on too so you get a chance to see the knives themselves. Thank you.